Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, what a crazy way to end off this June 25th, 2021 episode of Friday Night Smackdown. What is going on, everybody? This is the kid, DC Wrestling, back at again with another video. This, again, is your June 25th, 2021 Smackdown review. And for the Smackdown ending was awesome, but overall... I did think this show was solid, to say the least, coming off the heels of the WWE Hell in a Cell pay-per-view event. We kicked off the night um, with Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, the head of the table, the universal champion, talking about, you know, talking with Jimmy Uso. They're still wondering, man, where's Jey Uso? Where has he been at? You know, Jimmy's been telling him, man, I've been trying to find him. I, I've been calling him, trying to text him, all that biz, and I still couldn't find him. Well, he actually did find him, but Jay still wasn't going to show up to the arena. And that's where we ended there. And Reigns, you know, was just telling Jimmy to prove it to him. We then kicked off the night with a mixed match. Mixed tag team match player. But before we get to that, we did see Bianca Belair cut a yeah solid promo to say the least. And then we get Seth Rollins coming out interrupting Bianca Belair. And then that's where Bailey comes out and then Cesaro comes out. And then we get this mixed tag team match, which was solid to say the least. Nothing too special. But in the end, Seth Rollins and Bailey gets the win here, which we all know what's that going to lead to, which is obviously going to lead to Bailey getting another another opportunity against Bianca Belair. And, and to be quite honest with you, I don't. Well, it's not that I don't get it, but it just goes to show you that. But outside of Bailey and Sasha Banks of that magnitude, there's no one else on the SmackDown women's roster that is credible enough to face you know, Bianca Belair, they probably could have put someone else instead of Bailey in that position and probably could have just put Bailey in the Money in the Bank match. But because of the Money in the Bank match and also there really isn't no one else again outside of Bailey and Sasha, that's credible enough. They obviously have to go with Bailey versus Bianca Belair part five or part six or anything of that magnitude. But we did see the official coronation of the king, the new king of the town, the new king of SmackDown Live, Shinsuke Nakamura. We got his little guitar man there. Um, what's his name? Edgar Bogues, I believe that's his name. Yeah, Bogues, um, obviously playing the guitar there. Pat McAfee just going crazy. And while all this is happening, we do see King Corbin. King Corbin was, well, formerly known as King Corbin, as Kayla Braxton called him, but now he's just Baron Corbin now. Um, Baron Corbin, man, like, poor dude looks depressed, and you could tell how he was looking and just sounding off depressed. I don't know where what this leads to Baron Corbin now. He could go into a depression, you know, gimmick now, or who knows, man, maybe babyface. I don't know. We're just going to have to see what happens. But as far as this goes, man, you know, it poor... um. Poor Baron Corbin, man. Like, it just goes to show you, like, he looks um, just absolutely, you know, naked without the, you know, king around him. So, again, I'm really curious to see, um, you know, what they do with him next. But um, after that, after that, we get the Money in the Bank qualifying match between the Intercontinental Champion Apollo Crews versus Big E. This was a solid match as well. Big E does get the win here. Big E will be entering his first Money in the Bank ladder match, which will be which will be really cool to see. And then we see Sami Zayn, obviously. You know, Sami Zayn um, is going to be facing Kevin Owens next week in a last man standing match in the Money in the Bank qualifying match. So... You know, that just goes to show you that looks like Kevin Owens' break is about to be over because Kevin Owens was on Twitter the other day talking about how he's taking a little break, you know, most likely to rest up from his injuries. But obviously, he's going to have to face Sami Zayn. Um, now, we get to Carmella here. So, Sonya Deville actually comes out and she announces Carmella as the next, you know, well, the first Money in the Bank participant in the Women's Money in the Bank match. Then we see Liv Morgan come out. Liv's like, you know, you don't really deserve it. I deserve to be in this match. And then, you know, so and then Sonya was like, well, if you really want to be in this match, Liv, prove it. But Michael Cole, and, and we give my and I know a lot of us, we give Michael Cole shit on commentary. But he was actually telling the truth here. 
Why does Liv Morgan need to beat Carmella to earn an opportunity in the Money in the Bank ladder match when she, she doesn't need it? She, she beat Carmella last week. Like, she doesn't need to face Carmella again. This is kind of a pointless match, to say the least. I mean, Liv Morgan does get the win here, but really, you could have just added Boat Woman in the match considering they both got the W over one another. And then at tonight's main event, we saw Jimmy Uso versus Dolph Ziggler. This was actually a pretty good match. You know, even though Dolph Ziggler is pretty much a jobber now in wrestling, you got to give it to him. And he's still having some decent matches, to say the least. And this match with Jimmy Uso was really good. And yeah, man, I mean, it's it was really good for a SmackDown main event. But then we see Roman Reigns. We see Roman Reigns. Come out and just talking about what he did to Rey Mysterio, talking about what he does to dominate Mysterio, just saying that there's no one else to, to challenge him. And then if you think you know me, you think you know me, we see Edge. Edge comes back, ladies and gentlemen, the rated R superstar. Edge is back, ladies and gentlemen. Edge returns. We haven't seen Edge since night two of WrestleMania. He comes, he attacks Roman Reigns, the tribal chief. So this obviously leads. We're going to get Edge versus Roman Reigns and Money in the Bank. And you know what? Sign me up. I know a lot of people were pissed off that we obviously didn't get to see Edge versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania because Daniel Bryan had to interfere and cry to get his way into the match. But this is going to be dope. Edge versus Reigns spear versus spear this can't get any better than this y'all so this this was my smackdown review i hope you guys enjoyed this has been the kid dc wrestling and so um yeah